Hey everybody, this video is an overview of the incredible JBL Synthesis home theater speakers. JBL is one of our favorite brands at Audio Vice, particularly for high performance home theaters. If you're considering JBL Synthesis for your home theater, first check out my video overview on JBL Synthesis that's linked in the description, and then come back to this video that focuses specifically on the speaker options. Unlike most brands that either make speakers or components, JBL Synthesis is an entire system including electronics and speakers designed for delivering reference level dynamics, frequency response, and fast slam that you expect in the most amazing theaters. All of the JBL Synthesis speakers utilize compression drivers that have high efficiency and can hit high dynamic and SP levels with virtually no distortion compared to traditional dome tweeters, which makes them ideal speakers. The JBL Synthesis speaker lineup includes their terrific HDI line of in-room speakers based on the 2410H2 high frequency compression driver. Many JBL Synthesis theaters will use these for the front speakers and potentially surrounds or rears. We've done an entire review and video on these, and you can find the link on them in the description. So I'm gonna focus most of this review on the in-wall and in-ceiling speakers that can be used in combination with the HDI line or standalone. Now, the Synthesis Custom Loudspeakers or called SCL and Synthesis Subwoofers called SSW are all designed for that perfect stealth home theater where everything is built into your walls and ceiling and you feel like you are in a real movie theater. First, I wanna take a look at the features and technology of all these models and what they share and then dive into the differences between them to help you pick out the best ones for your dream home theater. JBL designed a new type of speaker for touring sound using a new type of compression driver called the D2. This received three US patents for its unique technology. And when you pair a compression driver with a horn type waveguide, you also greatly increase its efficiency when you compare it to a traditional dome or cone driver, which can be found in most home theater speakers. Most dome tweeters are about 5% efficient, whereas the JBL compression driver coupled with its patented waveguide gives you anywhere from 20 to 50%, depending on the model. That is a huge difference and is what enables their speakers to have incredible dynamics and what we refer to as slam. In addition, JBL's HDI waveguide delivers linear sound in all directions from the guide, which gives you better off-axis sound compared to traditional dome tweeters. So these are a deal for home theaters where you have people sitting in various locations. The dynamics you experience going from a soft sound to a rapid gunshot or explosion from a JBL D2 driver paired with the HDI waveguide are just spectacular. To mate up with the D2 drivers, JBL has designed some of the most stout looking woofers you will find. These all use cast frame baskets with massive magnet assemblies. In the case of the in-wall and in-ceiling models, the frames they are mounted to are incredibly solid and these leverage their tech from their professional models using the best theaters and concert venues. Now, I really like the fact that JBL gives us a really wide range of choices for their Synthesis SCL speakers. With all of them using a version of the D2 driver with similar woofer tech, you can mix and match combinations to come up with the best setup for your environment and your budget. The SCL speakers include the SCL6, which is the base level on-axis speaker, the SCL7, which is the base level angled speaker, the SCL4, which is the larger on-axis, and the SCL2, which is a super powerful on-axis. Let's take a look at the most popular ones now. The base level in-wall SCL7 is by no means an entry level speaker. It uses the 2410H2 driver coupled with two five and a quarter inch woofers for a two-way design. The woofers are made from a special aluminum matrix material housed in a heavy duty cast basket. The high frequency driver in the SCL7 is not mounted in the center but off axis with an angled HDI waveguide. This makes it perfect for your situations where you want the sound direction angled from the speaker position. With new Dolby Atmos speaker configurations, you can now add a wide surround speaker that goes on the left and right walls in between your main front and main surround speakers. The 15 degree angle makes these perfect for your position when you mount them vertically. 
If you're using a large flat panel or projection screen that is not acoustically transparent, the challenge is usually in putting the center channel speaker in a position where it will direct the sound at the main seats. Now the SCL7 can be positioned above the screen which will angle the sound right at the listening area. It can easily cover three rows of seats and by angling the sound downward, you get far less sound ceiling reflections as compared to a conventional front firing in wall speaker. Now if you have a situation where you have to spread your left and right speakers very far apart compared to how far you're sitting from them, the angled waveguide on the SCL7 will direct the sound more into the main seats while also minimizing sound that reflects off the sidewalls. The SCL7 is also ideal for side and rear speakers where you position the speakers with the angle pointed towards your main listening position. A good example of this is if you have to spread your rear speakers particularly far apart or you need to position your sides in front of the main listening position. If you are in the design phase of your theater and trying to figure out where your speakers should go, go check out our free home theater design tool at audiovice.com where you can input your room dimensions and it will show you where your speakers should go. The SCL6 uses four of the same woofers also used in the SCL7 in a 2.5 way design. We think the SCL6 is the best value in the entire lineup. It delivers extremely dynamic sound that can also reveal very subtle details for a surprisingly low price. Three of these as the left, center, and right channels behind an acoustically transparent front projection screen will be ideal for a great home theater. They are only 31 inches tall, but they deliver unbelievable impact. These also will be a great for an entire system, using them for all the channels, or they could be great surround and rear channels for a system with more expensive front three. Their very wide and linear on-axis dispersion makes them very well suited for surrounds and rears when you can position them as you normally would in a typical home theater room. Now, if you have a large room and you want reference level impact and dynamics, the SCL2 may be just what you need. These step up to the D2415K D2 driver, which uses a one and a half dual voice coil driver compared to the one inch single coil on the lower models. This is matched up with three eight inch aluminum comb matrix drivers for a 2.5 way configuration. The SCL2 comes with its own sealed enclosure. However, there is one catch to this massive and solid cabinet. It needs a six inch deep stud bay for installation. And these can also be bi-amped using JBL crossovers and two amplifiers. We recommend the SCL2 for larger home theater rooms that can really deliver dynamics and slam that are unheard of at this price point. Plus, that D24 15K driver is just super sweet and open on the top end and never any sense of strain no matter how hard you push it. The SCL2 fits into the same family of applications as the SCL6, making them great left, right, and center channels and surround and rear channels for a very serious home theater. Even though these are not inexpensive, there are plenty of home theater speakers that sell for more than double their price that cannot deliver the amazing home theater sound these are capable of. Now for end ceiling speakers, JBL offers the SCL8 and the SCL5. The SCL8 is a two-way end ceiling model using the same drivers as the SCL6 and the SCL7. They have a 2410H2 high frequency driver and the five and a quarter inch aluminum matrix comb woofer. It comes with a round or square grill frame. Now what's pretty neat about the SCL8 and the larger SCL5 is the way JBL mounted the high frequency driver and its waveguide. They mounted them at an angle that presents a perfectly centered sound at 45 degrees off axis from the speaker itself. This waveguide has such linear dispersion that you still have consistent sound at plus or minus 30 degrees from that 45 degree position. Now, in real world terms, this means one pair of SCL8s can easily cover up to three rows of seats with the same frequency curve. That is impressive and a performance level you just won't find in traditional speakers. For family rooms where there is no place to mount speakers in front of your TV, the SCL8 is a great choice as you can use three across the front mounted in the ceiling near your TV. Their dispersion pattern will send sound deep into your family room for great coverage. 
Atmos height speakers will be the most common use for the SCL8. They will be a great match to whatever SCL speaker you use for your lower channels and when used either as a single pair or two pairs of height speakers, completely cover up to three rows of seats with ease. Now, while we normally recommend you keep your surround speakers at ear level, we do realize there are some rooms where that's just not practical and the surround speakers must be placed in the ceiling. In this case, the SCL8s can be ceiling mounted and directed towards your seats and their wide dispersion will assure you of good coverage. The SCL5 is very similar to the SCL8 with better drivers that match up with the SCL2. It steps up to the better 2409H high frequency driver and 7 inch lumen matrix woofer with the same angle design as the SCL8. We see these as having identical applications as the SCL8 with both better resolution and the ability to play louder and more impact in larger rooms. The SCL5 is the perfect Atmos height speaker for systems based on the bigger SCL models. Now, bass is the foundation of music and great impactful deep bass is key to a fabulous home theater system. JBL has some great built-in subwoofers in addition to their large box subwoofers. The JBL subs are all passive subs that match up super well with the JBL synthesis amplifiers. The power level you need will depend on both the subwoofer you choose and the size of your room. Now your home theater installation company will know exactly how to match them up. So give us a call or stop by one of our stores if you have any questions. Audio advice experts can easily help you select the best JBL amp for any of their subwoofers. The base level JBL Synthesis Inwall SSW4 saw woofer uses two 8 inch metal comb woofers. These cast basket beefy woofers are mounted into a sealed back box that is designed to fit into a standard 2x4 wall. Now you will need the appropriate power amp to drive them and for almost all situations we recommend a pair of them to provide more even base output. Now in a smaller room, a pair of SSW4s will provide you with good bass output that is totally hidden from an aesthetic and space standpoint. They are not going to get down as deep in the lower bass regions as some freestanding subwoofers, but the performance they do offer in the range they cover is very impactful. The SSW3 is a huge jump up from the SSW4 in our opinion. It uses dual 10 inch woofers. These are made of a composite comb material and mounted in a very beefy cast basket. The base drivers have a large two and a half inch voice coil. The drivers are mounted to a specially designed molded baffle that has all kinds of structural ribbing to provide a very rigid and low resonance mounting surface. The baffle then attaches to a large back box made from three quarter inch MDF with lots of internal bracing. The baffle is 5.1 inches deep, so these must go in a two by six stud wall. It is one huge solid back box too, taking up over five feet of height. This large back box with the dual 10 inch drivers means you get deep bass that rivals some of the best in room subwoofers in a package that can be completely invisible. Two of these coupled to the right JBL synthesis power amp will rock most home theater rooms. Now at Audio Vice, we love a room with four subwoofers. You not only get the ability to play much louder, but by having four subwoofers in a room, you greatly reduce bass peaks where the bass sound builds up and colors the sound. We used a pair of the SSW4s in the front and the SSW3s in the back paired with SCL6s in a killer home theater that we videoed and the link to that one is also in the description. If you're trying to figure out how many subs to use and where to place subs in your system, we've added a link in the description to a video we did on optimizing home theater subwoofer placement. I hope this overview of the JBL SCL and SSW lineup has helped you get started on thinking about having Audio Advice design your own custom JBL synthesis system. We have a detailed article on our website that covers even more of the JBL SCL and SSW lineup. If you are thinking about building a home theater or updating your own, go check out our home theater page at audiovice.com where we have our free home theater design tool, buyer's guides, and how-to and home theater showcase videos. Now we are a JBL Synthesis exclusive online dealer, so if you have any questions at all or if you want help designing your own home theater, please feel free to reach out to us by phone, chat, email, or just drop by one of our award-winning showrooms where you can experience JBL sound for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, 
please like and subscribe to get the latest home theater and audio content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.